We're here with Arizona baseball coach Jay Johnson. The Wildcats face Washington State this weekend. It's the uh, Pac-12 home opening series. Jay, uh, you revealed the news about Randy LeBeau the other day. Can you give us a quick update on how he's doing? Yeah, he's doing good. He had a second surgery yesterday that was successful uh, to make sure everything was good and cleaned out in there. And uh, he is traveling home today, which is a good thing. And um, we're excited to uh, get him back and around the team. So obviously losing him from the, the rotation has some sort of a domino effect mm -hmm. on things. What do you think is, the, is the, gonna be the biggest impact? Well, it's the old, you know, New England Patriots philosophy of, you know, it's kind of that next man up. And, you know, like I said, more of my disappointment is for Randy. I feel like he was really emerging into, you know, one of the best pitchers in the Pac-12 and, and certainly a mainstay for us in the rotation. But, uh, you know, we have a, a number of good pitchers. Uh, we've pitched well to this point. And so we'll use all of them to kind of make sure that uh, those innings uh, remain quality innings for us. So Cody Deason's role hasn't changed, but Avery Weems maybe moves up a little bit mm -hmm. in the pecking order. What have you thought about his performance? I think he's been so great. I think both him and, and Randy, as far as left-handed pitchers, have been great for us. And uh, he's extremely competitive. Um, I think he cares about uh, preparation and ultimately success as much as any player on our team. And, and you want guys like that. And so uh, we have great trust in him and, and look forward to his continued development. What about Michael Flynn? You used him as a starter a little bit, as a reliever a little bit. Mm -hmm. That's been kind of the case for his career here yeah. so far. Where's he at? Well, he's going to pitch uh, on Sunday this week as a starter. I think uh, when you look at just pure uh, arm talent experience, all those types of things, you know, Michael is one of our you know three four five best pitchers on the staff and so uh, we want to expand his role in terms of the number of innings uh, that he's going to pitch and we felt like just setting him up sunday is a good way to do that i don't know if it's just a coincidence or what the story is but washington state is throwing three lefties uh -huh. at you guys and yeah. it seems like all the opponents have yeah. been pitching an inordinate number of left-handers against you um yeah does that change anything does, no what, I, what's I mean the impact we, of that? you know i think um i think we've i think we've gotten better as the year has gone along against left-handed pitching and I feel like uh, we've seen it so much now that it's maybe lost a little bit of its effect if it did have any kind of effect early on and um, I think our guys are seeing the ball well um, you know off of them I think we're utilizing the whole field really well and um, I feel like we've, we've kind of worked our way into uh, I wouldn't say defined roles, but just areas where guys can be comfortable and maybe have their best chance of being successful. Sure. We talked about Juan Aguilera the other night, obviously pitched a gem for you guys yeah. as a starter. Did he open your eyes at all oh, to maybe yeah, some no, different possibilities? No question. Or an uh, yeah, role? No, no question. And uh, when you have an injury like we do, you know, with one of your mainstay pitchers, uh, you got to kind of shuffle the deck, look forward a little bit more. And, you know, Juan's going to be a big part of those plans. I mean, you know, he was throwing a shutout and conventional wisdom would be just continue to let him finish it off but we want to have him available you know to pitch uh this weekend probably not friday obviously because he threw 60 pitches or 61 pitches but potentially towards the end of the weekend uh we want to have him available in this series